to do a sort of story time, chit chat kind of video. I thought it would be fun to talk about my first experience playing a visual novel type video game. I've never played any visual novels before besides Phoenix Wright, but I think that gets kind of categorized into its own type of game rather than a pure visual novel. The game I played came to me as a recommendation through a friend who knows I love horror games and recommended it to me. Any of you who are friends with me or follow me on Twitter know I love horror games and finding awesome new ones. The one I picked up is called Death Mark. Death Mark uh, is by Experience, the Japanese company's name, I believe, and distributed by Axis Game. experience and introduction to the world of visual novels. Let me read the back for you to give you an idea of what it's about. You have been marked. A strange rumor is spreading through the shadows of Tokyo's H-City. A mysterious disfigurement, like a grotesque birthmark has been appearing on the bodies of certain individuals. Anyone who receives the mark will rapidly die of unknown, horrifying causes. Deprived of your memories, you arrive at a mansion rumored to protect the bearers of the mark. As the doors swing open, the countdown to death has already begun. So my copy is a little beat up, <laughs> as I got it used from a GameStop. I actually picked it up with a couple of other games, stocking up during Black Friday. So as the back of the box mentioned, the premise is you get this birthmark, and rumor has it in the game that those who get it will die within not a necessary amount of time, but a few days, week usually. Part of the curse of the mark is the bearer loses their memories rapidly. Little things at first, till they have complete amnesia. The spooky part of the game is ghosts, which I think is awesome. And there's a lot of sort of folklore, ghost story, urban legend type of mythos going on in the game. You play a male adult main character. He has no memories. He doesn't remember his name. But he stumbles upon this mansion. And eventually other mark bears come through. Each chapter, you are faced with a ghost. You investigate the area, look for clues, uncover the mystery of the ghost, and in the end, you sort of fight the ghost. What I really enjoy about the game is the beautiful art, wonderful writing, and awesome sound design. I think the music and ambient atmospheric noises are so creepy and really add to the feeling. I find that the translation is very good too. There's a couple of odd bits. Um, pronouns are all gender neutral, which I believe might be a Japanese thing as 
I believe there are a lot of pronouns like she and he used generally in sentences and more of just denoting the person or by name. I haven't studied Japanese since like seven years ago, so I might be wrong. And there's a couple of puzzles that are word-based that you would completely fail if you didn't know what the Japanese word for that sounded like. But overall, the writing is very interesting, descriptive, and very tone-setting. You get a really good mood with each of the settings you're in, the areas, as you're reading notes and uncovering bits about these ghosts. I had assumed wrongly that most visual novels were just dating sims and very male-centric, that it was all about dating big, busty, beautiful anime women, and that there weren't necessarily such complex stories in them. A couple of people had mentioned Steins Gate to me, and that just didn't necessarily seem up my alley since it is you and a lot of other female kind of love interest characters. If you have any visual novel recommendations, please let me know. I'm very intrigued and would like to play more. I would prefer that they aren't dating or romance-based if you have any suggestions. For someone who is so used to playing RPGs or action RPGs or games that aren't so heavily text-based, I was a little nervous to play the game. I didn't know if I would be very immersed in the experience, which is completely wrong. I was more immersed in this game than in a lot of other horror games I had tried playing in the past. Uh, whoever did the art was fantastic. There's so much detail. The designs of the ghosts and creatures as well is fantastic. If you enjoy urban legends or if you've ever watched Yami Shibai, I especially think you would enjoy this. One specific chapter feels very Yami Shibai. Yami Shibai is a short, it's like five minute anime series of short little ghost stories and urban legends. But the one chapter that feels very Yami Shibai is about a ghost you go into a specific phone booth and you wait for the phone to ring. And when it rings, you pick up and you can ask the ghost where to find something you've lost. But you have to answer very specifically or something bad could happen to you. That one was probably my favorite chapter. I also really enjoyed the characters in the game. The characters range from other adults, there's some children, there is a couple elderly characters, men, women, idols, doctors, high schoolers, detectives. There's such a wide range of character types that it was really fun interacting with all of them, the different dialogue options. You could only pick one character to take with you at a time, so I would often think, who do I want to hear more from, or who would have more interesting dialogue for a chapter? Sorry if there's a funny cut. I think my cat knocked something over in the background. <laughs> all the characters' quirks were written well, and I really enjoyed the dialogue. Another thing I enjoyed, which I'm not sure is common for visual novels, 
is it was quite exploratory. The game is first person when you're in the main investigative parts. You have a map and you go down different rooms, corridors, etc. And you can click to interact with objects, feel them, look at them, combine items. So you could have a bookshelf. You can look and get some flavor text on it. You can feel, maybe grab a book out, or interact by using an item on it. I thought that was good because it helped the pacing sort of break up the monotony of just dialogue, text-based choices. Oftentimes you have to be quite clever when using items. <laughs> it reminded me of this famous Silent Hill 2 puzzle that's so silly. You have a garbage chute in an apartment that's blocked, and there's an item in there that you need. You have to take a crate of juice, like a six-pack, and throw it down the garbage chute. <laughs> it's not very obvious that you need to do that, and so you're like playing the game, and you're like, well, what am I supposed to do with this juice? And an interesting part of when you're exploring is, depending on who you bring, that can have an effect on the game. Certain characters can only use certain items. So, you know, for example, there's a songstress idol character. Only she can play the piano with some sheet music that you pick up. And it's important to pay attention to your partner characters as when you get to the culmination of each chapter. Which is my favorite part. It turns to a turn-based sort of game. You confront the ghost and need to defeat them. With all the items you've collected, you have to think about how to combine them as each character can only have one item. By learning about the ghost, you can sort of figure out what to use and what final item to use. As I will warn you, if you play the game, there is a good way to defeat the ghost and a bad way. And if you want to keep all your character, partner characters alive, I recommend really paying attention. You want to sort of kindly exercise the ghost, no matter how cruel or deranged they were. I'm probably just rambling at this point, but I guess what I wanted to say is I didn't know a visual novel could have such rich atmosphere, such wonderful storytelling, not just bland pages, paragraphs of texts, but a truly immersive experience. Obviously, all dependent on the writer, the translator, to make that effective. This game has a sequel, which I've started playing, but I'm not a fan. The UI is a direct rip from Persona 5, to be quite honest, which takes away from the spookiness of the game as it's bright colors versus death mark. It's very subtle, subdued, lets the text do the storytelling for you. There's a third game in the series. They're all called Spirit Hunter, then the secondary name, Deathmark, the sequel, Spirit Hunter NG. Can't remember what the third one's going to be called, but I'm excited for that one. Apologies for any odd cuts. The world is dead set against me that <laughs> It doesn't want me to complete this video. This is my seventh or eighth time 
attempting to film it. Let me know if you enjoy these kind of random chatty videos. This was one part game review, one part just chatting. And if you do like this kind, I can certainly make some more. Apologies if it was short, but noisy environment. Please let me know if there's any visual novels you adore and recommend that I play. I most certainly will try to. Have a wonderful day or evening, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.